So I get asked quite a bit, what do I do to prepare for a session when I'm working with a horse? So the first thing that I do is before I even set foot in the barn um, or within 500 feet of the horse, I ground myself. Um, horses are incredibly grounded animals and they sense immediately if there's a human that is not grounded or that needs grounding. And so I ground myself. I also clear my mind of any preconceived notions. Um, of course, we're going to get feedback from the person that enlisted us to come out to work on their horse. And that's all good information to have, but I never use it as a tool with an agenda. So I never have an agenda when I work on a horse other than um, to go in there and provide the best support for the horse that I can. And, and before I set foot into the stall, I show them pictures. I show them pictures of, it's just me, um, I'm safe. I'm here to help you. Um, we're going to use some lights on you. It's, it's incredibly relaxing and you're safe. You don't have to be the ultimate prey animal during this session because I will not do anything to you to harm you and I will not also ask anything of you as well. And so that I feel is incredibly important and just really don't have an agenda because um, you know, the times that we've put agendas out there and, oh, we're going to do this, 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 and this, we walk in and the horse has a completely different agenda. So the biggest thing that I do is really tune into the horse and listen to every single thing that it's um, communicating to me because they're always communicating back and forth. And we find that the best healing sessions and that the best sessions with the best results are the ones in which we um, partner with the horse and it's a joint um, healing session and it's not just me giving therapy to the horse. Um, so, you know, ground yourself, clear your mind, no agenda, be open to receiving the information the horse is providing you, and also uh, be in communication with the horse in the moment. And the last thing is um, some horses may only want to have three points done or five points done, and then there's other horses that want their whole body done once or twice over. So just ha and be okay with it because at the end of the day, you're doing good. So if you only do three points, I guarantee you it is going to have a positive effect on the horse. When we're looking at the carotid artery on a horse, we're referring to the area where the vein artery and nerve run up the side of the esophagus up to the neck itself. And I typically like to put it, you can either put it like a couple fingers below the jaw or I bring it down to where it's just in front of the shoulder in this area. 